and uh, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Towns. In the last episode we uh, dug a stairway which allowed us to rec uh, to retrieve those uh, stranded heroes. I also misplaced my cell phone so I can't really do a uh, countdown right now. However, I don't think this is going to be much of a problem here. Uh, it's actually technically time to record some more Evil Genius, but <laughs> nobody has watched the past episodes, so I don't see much of a point in uh, putting up new ones right now. <coughs> Aside of that, um, I just don't feel like playing Evil Genius right now. So, uh, more towns it is. And I don't know, uh, let's check the mines. Yeah, we did learn some uh, interesting facts about water. Uh, one, it pretty much destroys everything it touches. Well, everything that is not a wall, but that is touched by water is pretty much gone. Alright, we also had a siege here. Uh, we had some evil badgers, as I remember now. I don't know what they got this time, but I hope they uh, die horribly. There it is, it got a... Uh, oh, it seems like they nicked some raw food barrels again. And a prepared food one. Wrong where? Oh, there's one. God, I hate those things. I really hate those things. Let's replace that. And uh, those two barrels here. And speaking of uh, questionable design decisions, I think the evil badger sieges are part of those uh, of that list as well. I just dislike those. I mean, there is no real chance to catch them. Also, why are you carrying that roof all the time? Okay. Well, um, you also don't really have a chance to catch them, even if you are not carrying a bloody stone roof with you. I would have dropped it, to be honest, but who am I to judge that? <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's check. Oh yeah, I did mine out new stones. I do have a lot of spiderite, which is uh, pretty useless, uh, useless right now. I mean, I could just forge uh, spiderite weapons and stuff for whatever and various reasons I can come up with, but... Right now, there is little point in doing so. Instead, let's uh, go with uh, some more Goblinite equipment and uh, keep updating the town. Uh, the town equipment. We do well. I do forget about that continuously. I thought we had another siege. No. I keep putting it, forgetting that the game would pause if we were besieged again. Oh yeah, we also had we also hit uh, the happiness required for more citizens. So right now we have to get to 72 happiness in order to uh, attract a new wave of immigrants. And to be honest, that's quite a lot. At least, it seems to be the way I play, which does not mean it is a lot for everybody, but it is a lot for me. And I want uh, another wall tile here. Where did that go? Uh, this, and I want it here. Yeah, it's getting placed. Just making sure things get placed where I want them. Also, let me just check the uh, audio file here. Okay, I just uh, cranked up my microphone a bit, so uh, I hope this didn't make any uh, weird noise in the recording. So yeah, sort of that things are looking uh, pretty okay now. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that to be uh, the case so soon after I 
badly messed up the <laughs> stone operation here or the uh, stone mining but yeah, we are lucky it doesn't spread further <sighs> although I must uh, I suppose I must give that to my heroes I would probably not want to cross w uh, something that dissolves everything it touches as well. I mean this uh, I think we had some beds over here and they were just removed completely. I don't know if we could get them back if the water or when the water recedes which is unlikely because there is absolutely no way to access this point and that's pretty much an unsolved problem as well. That's something I would like the uh, developers to fix, although I, I know there is a fluid elevator somewhere here. There it, uh, that's uh, the fluid elevator, but I don't know how it works. And even the uh, town's wiki doesn't know how it works, which means I will not experiment, <laughs> experiment with it right now. Because I can... I kind of see it making things worse. And right now we have the situation mostly under control. Which is very big mostly. I, I wouldn't really say it's perfectly under control. It's just not getting any worse. And uh, I do fear that if I started building fluid elevators or things around here, it might make things very, 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 very much worse in a very quick fashion. So that's something I would rather avoid. Okay. Also, we're still having uh, about seven minutes left in the recording. So I'm not sure what to do here. <laughs> it's, it's one of those times again. I have no idea what I want to do now. Um, for one, I want to finish recording, uh, finish uh, equipping. Again, I'm not touching the boots of haste because I do like their effect, and I don't think there is any uh, better piece of equipment to do or to achieve the uh, speed I want my townies to achieve. Also, I think I can uh, safely say that this level is safe. I mean, exactly. Except of this uh, small bit over here, which is more than likely going to be explored before any townie goes down here. Uh, I can... where did that go? It's here, yeah. This is level minus 8. And uh, I think level minus 8 is safe to uh, gather now. Great, so we have that. And I think we can all, uh, we can start going. No, we can't yet. But we will go deeper once this uh, small bit here is explored. I suppose I will also start mining out more stones from there. Although I suppose that can also wait. Also, uh, seeing how this is uh, pretty much under the river and not... well, okay, this part is <laughs> flooded, but uh, seeing how this is uh, very deep and under the river and still not flooded, I suppose we can safely mine out everything in this area, as long as we stay away from those lakes, which uh, would be probably the next uh, source of trouble for me. Right now we have this uh, Pretty large room we are destroying. Well, it's not a room, it's it's just a uh, large, I don't know, bedrock thing. Also, how can that be dungeon wall? How would you go here and construct that? Or was this like a big cave and then they went and uh, got stone from all over the place and made those thick walls, those several meters? thick walls. 
we'll never know. Okay, let's find our stairway again. It should be around there. We have a pretty impressive hole in the ground. And it's going all the way down here. To here, and here, and here, and there. I think I will uh, put the next bit around here. Like right here. Which uh, gives us still some space to uh, go to those directions and uh, gather stuff from this cave. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know. Ex I don't exactly know how the uh, the stairways act in regards to going to the sides. I mean, I don't think it's much of a problem, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And let's face it, we don't really have a <laughs> problem with space over here. It's not too uh, it's not too narrow, so yeah, I don't see a reason to go that far and conserve as much space as possible. I'll also wait with this gold mining here. For the very simple reason that I don't know what is below this level. And I don't really want to uh, encounter anything that will kill me. Like we had with the iron mine in the first level of the dungeon, where I tried to mine a bit and uh, ended up running into the Goblin King, I think, and uh, losing two more miners. That is something I would rather avoid this time, so uh, we're going to explore the level below before we uh, dig deeper and before we disturb anything that might be below this. <sighs> I'm also a bit worried about w uh, how we get into the next level of the dungeon. But I do like to, uh, to see the change from here, from those uh, apparently constructed or at least uh, somewhat artificial rooms to this more cavern natural like uh, way the dungeon is handled here. I wonder if we uh, change back to rooms uh, <laughs> if we go further down. It's something I didn't bother looking up because that's uh, I don't know, that's just a bit of the exploration and uh, something I do enjoy. And it's a nice little touch that I just wanted to point out that I enjoy. And that's, uh, that makes the game a bit more fun for me. Okay. Um, we're hitting the almost end of the episode. You might notice that I'm not very talkative today. Oh, well, I, I do talk a lot, but I'm not in the most uh, perfect shape for my let's plays, which uh, is mostly because I'm pretty tired. It's about 12 right now, and I do not mean the lunchtime 12, it's about uh, midnight. So um, I had a long day, we're having a pretty bad storm outside, and of course I was, uh, I was at work today. So uh, that was not too much fun actually, because having to ride a bike when there is a uh, storm is no fun, especially if you have one of those uh, pizza boxes on your bike, which is not exactly the most uh, aerodynamic thing you can put on your bike. Uh, you will have a lot of fun if the wind starts blowing from the side. And uh, I did have a lot of fun, the way that uh, you actually hate, because it's kind of difficult to keep uh, your bike straight. And falling over with a pizza is not a good idea. It really is. Oh. 
Okay, I, I also wish it would uh, explain those events a bit better. At least the uh, weird ones we had last... Or in, in one of the last episodes. I remember that. We did have an event I couldn't quite put my finger on. Anyway, uh, more to that next time. Because uh, we hit the 15 minute mark and I do want to get this episode wrapped up. So, uh, I'll see you then. Bye.